the aim, the aim of this video is to change your life. I know so many people, I know so many people that wake up in the morning, they live their lives like, like sheep, they follow others like sheep and they lose themselves. We all, we are all gifted with, with uniqueness and talents. Use what is within and find your purpose. Find your purpose, do you, be you. Whatever it is that you're striving for, whatever that might be, if, if you want to succeed in life, if you want to be successful, there are three components. Listen to me, three components. Number one, it's all about passion. Live your life with passion. Live your life to the maximum. If you, if you live, if, if there's no passion in, in, in the thing you're doing, you're empty. It's like you're, you're a robot. You're like Robocop. It's all about passion, the most important thing. Number two, the mindset. You need to have the right mindset. It's not reality that determines you. No, you determine reality. Number three, number three, faith. Keep the faith. Believe that one day it will happen. One day will be your day. I'm telling you. Keep the faith. Believe. So passion. What do I precisely mean with passion? Simple. That you love what you do. That you're doing something. The thing you're doing is coming from within. If all that is pushing you is a big house, fame, money, cars, you will never Listen to me, you will never ever make it. Why? Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Simple. Because you are driven by something which lies outside of you. It's not part of you, it's external. But if the thing you're doing, if it comes from within, if it comes from the heart, you will, you can never, never be broken. No matter what happens to you. Never. Because it's part of who you are. You will never quit. From this perspective, Quitting can never be an option, never, because because if you quit, you're not being who you should be. It's like you're losing a part of yourself, you're not being you. So love what you do, guys, and you can never be broken. Guys, I'm not going to tell you my whole life story, but what I can say is that what football is concerned, I've seen quite some injustice. And, um, you know... <sighs> There, there were times, honestly, I'm going to tell you that uh, I had it difficult. I, I lost faith. I, I didn't lose faith in myself because I've always believed in my, in my talent, but I had the feeling that my efforts were in vain. Because despite the fact that I was incredible on the field, it didn't, I didn't get rewarded. By, by, I didn't play where I should play based on the things I do. And I ask myself many times, like, God, why is it so difficult? I, I'm blessed with this incredible talent, but despite that fact, I'm not playing at the level where I can play, where I should play. So, many times I, I had it difficult when I started doubting. But now, now I see that it's not about, I realize that it's not about what happens to you, in life, it's not about what happens to you, but how you deal with it. It's, how, it's about how you deal with it. And everything starts with acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. And the difficult moments in your life, I'm telling you, the difficult moments, they, they, they give you the possibility to grow. To grow far beyond than in the scenario that those negative experiences those negative experiences would not have taken place. So, I have learned to cherish the, the difficult moments in life because the truth is, when, when everything goes well in life, we human beings, we take everything for granted. So I've learned to cherish those, those difficult moments because, because you know, they, they, they grant you the vision and wisdom you otherwise would never have obtained to, how must I say, to break the circle of of negativity and to, to to start to prepare yourself for a new chapter in your life without these experiences i would never have the dedication and willpower that i have now so i'm grateful for everything that happened to me and i'm ready for the next step so guys if you want to be successful three components number one passion number two 
the mindset. You need to have the right mindset. Like, and I, I, I precisely mean with, with the right mindset, I'm referring to dedication. Like the dedication, the hard work, the discipline, the sacrifice. You, you, you see, like, you see some people that have passion for something, but they're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to put in the work. You need to have this mindset of being the best possible version of yourself. The best possible version of yourself. And you can even go, you need to even go one step beyond. To be the best in whatever it is that you're doing. There's some people, there's some people that say, I want to become this. I want to do this. Saying you want something. For example, you want to become a professional football player, soccer player. Saying you want something, it's not a small thing. If you say you want something, it has big implications. There are people who say they want to become a professional football player. If you look at their behavior, if you look at their behavior, you think, what is this guy doing? They, play, they, pre they prefer playing PlayStation all day instead of doing some training. They, if you look at what they eat, they go to McDonald's three times a day. They eat their um, meat, meat that is even not, it's not even meat, they eat plastic. So if you say you want something, you need to have the dedication. You need to make every moment count. So guys, you need to be, you need to be honest with yourself. Are you doing, are you doing everything you can possibly do to reach your goal? With the means you have, with, with everything, are you just doing everything you can do? That's the question you should ask yourself. You should be honest with yourself. You should look in the mirror and you should tell yourself, am I making every moment, every moment count in order to reach my goal? Believe that, believe that one day it will happen. Believe that one day your dream will come true. Have the faith, believe. You gotta trust in in God, in life, whatever it is. Yeah, you have to believe in something. Just trust that one day it will happen. One day it will happen. I'm telling you, one day it will happen.